Hello everyone, Joey here with Battle for the Cats of BGC. BGC is one of the most beautiful and modern cities in the world and they have problems just like any other major city. The difference in the outcome really depends on how we choose to handle the problem. I was curious about the large number of cats in BGC and I've seen so many of them that obviously they're wild but we know that they're well fed and eventually my curiosity got the best of me because they've got a few signs placed in prominent spaces telling us not to pet the cats and don't feed the cats. So obviously I was curious how do they humanely control the population of these wild cats and how do we end up with so many obviously healthy and well-fed and cared for cats on the streets? To understand how this problem was solved, we have to take a step back and look at the actual people of BGC. All you have to do is walk into a coffee shop or restaurant, or better yet, follow along to the little pet festival that was held this weekend, two days, 12 hours each day, on Fifth Avenue and High Street. I was fortunate to run into a couple of friends who founded a company called Ruff Trading Company, or I guess it's Ruff, 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 beautiful pun. So they, they founded this, this company and they designed every product. You look at the leather collars and the totes and, and the beds, but they design every one and then they select individual craftspeople to manufacture their products. For example, a seamstress will sew and produce the cushions for a dog bed and then a selected weaver will produce the actual bed. So the result of this attention to detail is a product that is so well designed and so well executed, it's, it's beautiful. It really reminds me of something from Ralph Lauren. I want to take another few seconds to introduce you to Barktown and Company. The owner creates these beautiful outfits you can see on the left. And when I'm telling you that people love their animals here, you'll see animals dressed in outfits like this every day. And right next to Barktown, we have Diane, the founder of Q-Bites. I think that's Japanese. I may be way off base for nine, so maybe nine bites. But anyway, links to both of those will also be on the website. Back to the cats. I've never been one to follow all the rules and it's no surprise I didn't read the fine print on the signs. But my first clue leading me to the discovery of BGC cats were the, the feeding bowls and one of them had a name on it. I googled it and that quickly led me to the organization the Cats of BGC. I sent them a message, they responded almost immediately and this is where I found out about their mission. Stay tuned and watch this interview with Claire. She is the founder and her and Michelle are the driving force behind the Cats of BGC. Stay tuned. I think you're going to really love this. Much respect. I see us. So tell me your name. Claire. Claire Burden. Claire. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice Joe. Nice to meet you. So I talked to you a little bit about how I found you all yeah. with all the beautiful cats. Yes. And I, I saw dishes, people trying to save them. Yes. And so I thought, well, I want to investigate and find out who's fighting the battle to save the cats. Yes. So tell me about your organization and the mission. Okay. So we are a group of uh, residents and employees who live in BGC and uh, we are all cat lovers so we set up the group back in uh, we set up the group on a page in 2017 but some of us were already helping cats since 2010 2012 um, both fostering at home and also trying to home the cats themselves and feeding the cats outside so and spaying and neutering as well so now we since 2017 Team, we started a page so we have cats of BGC on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook and we have a website wow. and we have 125 volunteers who are some of them daily, some of them weekly feeding the cats. They also monitor the cats health um, so when there's sick ones, when there's new ones, when somebody's sneezing or somebody gets run over for instance we have to go and do something about that so they report report back to us every day because they're feeding each day. Wow. They send us pictures and say these ones were present, these ones were absent. If we see somebody's absent for a few days, we go and investigate, make sure that they are still okay, they're still alive. So nothing's not happened to them, they were just hiding at the time of feeding. And then, so we feed, 
them, we monitor them, we spot any new ones that come so that we can get them immediately spayed and neutered outside. Um, and to do all of this, we have to raise funds, which is why we're here today at the Pet Huddle, um, selling merchandise as well as bringing some of our adoptable cats and kittens that are fostered at home. All right, so how would somebody help you if they're not able to be here and buy merch? Yeah. How can they, is there a way to donate? There is, we have GCash and we have a Union Bank account. So the G both of them are under my name. We have them on our page. Um, the GCash is 0917864216. Don't ask me for the other number, I can't remember it, but it's it's there on our page okay. and uh, people can donate if they want to. Um, we don't have an online shop yet to sell our merchandise, so we're really only selling at events at the moment right. um, just to raise funds. And those funds go to TNVR, which is Trap, Neuter, Vaccinate, Return, so either spay and neuter, but we also vaccinate with anti-rabies. And they also go to our vet bills because we have a lot of cats that need I saw, to I just saw one that... Uh, an update on a cat that had a broken leg. Yes. And it looks like it's a good prognosis. Yes. So yes. that's so fantastic. Yeah. And you've been doing this for five years now, almost six. Six years since we started the page, but I started in like 2011, so. Awesome. Yeah. So what is your website? It's uh, catsofbgc.com. Okay. And on Instagram, we are, all of our handles for, across the other three are BG, at bgccatsph. BGC Cats PH. PH, yes. All right, so everybody, do what you can to help. Yes. It's a great organization, and you've seen the cats in other videos, I'm sure, but there are so many cats running around BGC, and they need our help. So please check out Cats of BGC, yes. and thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks so much for watching. Here's the map. As usual, everything is on the website. So make sure you check it out. Please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Until next time, Joey out.